Alright guys, so today is game day and the weather looks so-so. Um, they're not calling for rain, so that's good, but the temperature dropped like crazy, man. Like, I'll tell you, overnight, this is the biggest drop in temperature I think I've had since I've been living in Canada. It was 30 Celsius, like 86 Fahrenheit, and then dropped to, <clears throat> what, 12, 14 degrees Celsius, like 50, 50, some, 50 some odd degrees Fahrenheit. That was brutal, man. Like, and they have enough blankets here, but damn. And I'm also fighting a cold, which doesn't help. I don't know if, I'm feeling a little bit better today. I'm planning on the game, hopefully go to a very popular uh, barbecue place here in uh, Porto Alegre. So let's head, let's head to the game and uh, I'll show you how they do it here in the south of Brazil. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's the same as in most of Brazil, the way that they love, they're fanatical about, about soccer. Um, it'll be my first time going to an actual club uh, game here in Brazil. So let's head. It is freezing, guys. Wow. I probably should have bought much warmer clothes. <laughs> just waiting for the Uber. Okay, so I just got out of the Uber, and this is the place I'm gonna check out. Freio do Uru. And Freio is like the brake, but they talk about like on the horse, you know, the part of the horse, the muzzle kind of part. So let's go inside and check it out. Olá, tudo bem? É um Uma pessoa só. Tem um lugarzinho lá, acho que junto a parede lá tem, né? Olha o final, não Tá. Como é que tá? Tá bom? Tá bom. 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 Tá quanto? 104, né? Isso. Tem isso. Vamos ter que olhar para ela. Já tá pra feio. Tá. So I don't know how much I'm going to eat. It's a Rovizio, which is uh, basically all you can eat. So we'll see. We'll see how much meat I'll be able to eat. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it looks juicy. Let's try it. Prepare yourself to be bombarded by me. <laughs> 
Make sure you eat what you have before you keep piling on because I made that mistake. <laughs> I have to say guys, I'm getting really stuffy. <clears throat> and I didn't really have a, really have an appetite when I got here, so oh, what do you got? Yeah. The bombardment of meat oh, what do you got? <laughs> so prepare for that. It's gonna be overwhelming. <laughs> So little, the meat is, is much better than what I would have had in Rio and other places, places in Brazil. So it was a must-do, even though even though I wasn't at home. So let's keep going. So guys, the different meats that they have, like brisket, chicken, okay, yeah. any type of meat you can possibly think that they have, it's crazy. Any any pork products? Oh, we got it. Pork products like sausage, things like that, they pretty much have them. Uh, so it's well worth it. Well, well worth taking a look at the barbecue place here in the south. I find it hilarious because when you say no to one of them, they almost like become so like, disappointed. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just my impression. We're pretty much done. Okay, I can't eat yeah, much more. So overall, I uh, think this place two thumbs up for sure. Kid looking at me. <laughs> but I give this place two thumbs up for sure. Uh, when you're in Porto Alegre, check this place out. There's a bunch of them around. I chose this one because it was close by uh, to the stadium, so I just like left the stadium to get there. So definitely worth checking out. From both service to no, I don't know what good service, my friend. That was the best part, at least for most, is the dessert. So it's like chocolate mousse, and you combine it with some food. It's so funny, like, we generally don't have any more space for food, but then when it's dessert, somehow a little bit more space opens up. So I'm gonna finish this and uh, pay the bill. Olá. Tudo bem? Não sei se é de Você é Esse aqui é Saita, tá? Obrigado. Bom domingo. Obrigado, Bom domingo. Bom domingo. aqui? Yeah. Just so you guys can see. Alright, so, meal accomplished, it's freezing, <laughs> I'm not wearing a jacket, my voice is terrible because I'm uh, still getting over that, over that cold. So yes, the, sh the sh barbecue place was amazing, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't able to eat as much as I normally would, um, yeah, I mean, it was 104 reais, like, like 20 bucks, 20 some odd bucks, US, 20 bucks probably, even. So very, very worth it, especially if you come down to this region. So I just got a couple of hours, a couple hours, uh, a couple, I just got here a couple hours earlier, and I'm just checking out what they do pre-game. So you can see they have a lot of uh, food truck type things, setups. Game kickoff is about two hours, so uh, that's gonna ruin my uh, cut off the music. As 
can see that they set up and pre-game stuff. Vem na obriga. I don't drink. <laughs> So they have all kinds of types of beers and they have wine if you want to try that out. <coughs> all kinds of food, snacks, whatever you want. Uh, we're almost at the stadium, as you can see. And it's freezing, man. It's freezing. Crazy cold. Do they? No, I'll forget. As you can see, everybody is dressed warm. I'm even, I'm even ready for the game. I got the jersey and everything. So, I'm all ready. I'm only wearing this and then shorts. <laughs> uh, I have a jacket, but I didn't want to be all stuffed up inside the stadium. It's not like deathly cold, but for people here in Brazil, it's very cold. All kinds of souvenirs, guys. I bet, I bet the stadium's going to be packed, packed, even though it's freezing. I can guarantee you that based on how people are crazy for the sport, so... <clears throat> I'm just gonna go over here. Uh, I asked somebody if they, there was gonna be a band. Like, you know, you know, there's always that group of like fanatical fans that just play drums the entire game? So they are over here on the opposite side, but they'll be going into the game maybe 30 minutes before, and I don't want to be... I don't want to wait out here that long because I don't like the getting through a mad rush. So I'm going to see what they're all about over there. With, with, they're just banging on the drum and shit. It's also very breezy here, which makes it even colder. Like, I'm not really complaining, just, you know, but it's chilly. There's a the stadium there. start allowing people in at 2 p.m. so I'm gonna head over there now. I don't think it's gonna people are gonna stay out too much longer outside. You guys wanna see security at a soccer game? Well look at the soldiers that are gonna be here. That's crazy. That's Brazilian soccer for you. <laughs> Wow. In case uh, things get out of hand. Let's go inside. Hey. 
Vai lá com ele. Oi? Isso aqui tu não vai poder entrar. Eu já perguntei para o pessoal bem antes. So the plot thickens today, guys. I nearly lost my fucking temper. Um, so I have a tripod with me connected to this camera. And uh, yeah, I have to go. I'm not allowed to go into the stadium with it. So stupid. Honestly, like. So I'm gonna have to leave it at some, uh, like a safe type of thing. At the, I don't know what, how you call it, but so ridiculous, man. I just have to like let it go. I, I, I kind of flipped out on the guy. I'm like, it's just. I asked them the day I bought the tickets if I can enter with this full piece, and they're like, Yeah, no problem, no problem. Camera, yeah. But they didn't think of to tell me that you can't come in with a tripod, like a small tripod. Give me a break. What? I'm gonna use it as a weapon? Give me a fucking break. These, some of these rules here in Brazil, like, uh, you know, I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. I'm just gonna leave it at the, at the gate. It's just really hard to use this camera when I'm uh, without the tripod, so. Yeah, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> I don't feel too good, so it made me like a little more agitated. Uh, I don't know where I'm supposed to leave this thing. He said I can, I can leave it with the front gate or something like that and I can get it after the game. So crazy. Let's find this place and leave it there and then, then finally go in. He's just, do, I get it, he's just doing his job, but it's so ridiculous. I don't even know what the hell he was talking about. Alright, let's try this again. So now I've, I've, gu I've guarded the tripod for free and I can pick it up after the game. I'll apologize to the guy because uh, I was just pissed off because I was ready to like go in and film or whatever, so whatever. It's, it's annoying, just keep that in mind. If you guys come to see a soccer game in Brazil and you want to film or whatever, don't bring any sort of tripod, okay? Otherwise, you'll have that problem too. What problem is that? Let's go, fam. Vem aqui, ok? Não, aqui é só revista. Okay? Só revista. Okay. Só a revista. Okay. Olá, tudo bem? Olá, tudo bem? Assim mesmo. Deu. Muito obrigada, bom jogo. Obrigado. Kinda of ugly inside. Let's check uh, what the stadium looks like. Gotta find my seat. <laughs> Alright, so I got to my seat. Trying a lot, but that situation bothered me, so anyway. The trip continues. It's a biggish stadium. I don't know how many fit in this place, but. At least if it rains, it ain't getting me. <laughs> Before the start of the game, let's ask some fans uh, who they're who they're choosing to win the game. O palpite do jogo, amigos. Palpite. Dois a um. Dois a um. E vocês? Dois a zero. Um a zero. Dois. Dois a zero. Dois a zero. Obrigadão.
E vocês? Qual o palpite de vocês? 2x0, Inter. 2x0, Inter. 3x1, Inter. 3x1. 2x0. E vocês? 2x0. Tá bom. Bom jogo vocês. Obrigado. 600. Alright, I'm losing my voice, so I'm gonna go to my seat now. If I can. <laughs>
So thanks for watching. I will be heading to a new city tomorrow and we'll catch you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Cordial Edgar and a soccer game.